What's up guys, Baker here. I am doing a tutorial in my car. That's, uh, if you noticed, my After Effects is a little tiny because I'm on my little laptop. And uh, I can't really record tutorials very often, so I decided why not do it when I have a five hour break. Okay, so uh, just took a two hour nap, so I'm all good. And uh, there's just one transition that somebody showed me, and I, I wanted to try to recreate it, so I forgot where it was from, but uh, please take a look, and here's what I got. Now, I know it's not perfect. If you look at the uh, the bottom of the screen, you get some weird uh, stuff. And I was trying to fix that, but, you know, there might be a super easy way to do it or something. But, you know, I tried to figure it out, and I just want to share it with you, okay? So let's go ahead and into it. So your clip... It's going to have a knife in it. I think I'm going to call this the knifing cut transition. So I'll just kind of slide this over for right now. And you want to go when the knife starts. So let's see here. Right around here. Okay. Right about, I'm going to say right there. So what you're going to do is you're going to split your clip. So that is shift command D on a Mac. Alright, uh, so you split it. <coughs> split it then duplicate it and what we're gonna do is make a top half and a lower half so um, let's go ahead and kinda look at the the path of the knife so it's kinda lower left to the middle on the right side so what I'm gonna do is go ahead and take my pen tool and then just kinda draw you know a rough could be jagged if you want, but rough, rough line like that, and yeah, just like that. So if we solo it, we can see that it's it's roughly the path of the uh, the knife. It, it's decent. All right. So what we're gonna do is gonna push M, and then select the mask and copy, and then paste it on the other other uh, duplicated clip so we get a top half and a lower half except this mask needs to be set to subtract now we get the top again alright so what we're gonna do is just slightly change the top mask so if we click on the layer then double click on a point if we have our uh, regular selection tool double click on a point and then we can uh, rotate the entire mask we can kinda you know, move it up Trying to make like a, a slanted kind of line, making the, the left side a little bit thicker. Alright, so that, that's looking kind of cool. So, uh, yeah, it's a little off, but you can always fix it later. And then to make it a little bit more cool, I guess, we're going to add some roughened edges on those. And we're going to change it to cut border to about let's say 50 I think and that just gives it a little bit more rough uh, set of a smooth mask and then I'll just go ahead and copy that on the bottom or the top layer and that's where you get the uh, the stuff kinda on the sides and on the top and I was trying to figure out a way to uh, you know really fix that but uh, a temporary solution is motion tile Put that before the roughen edges, and the output weight width is I don't know like 200. Shouldn't really matter, but the thing is, we're gonna be having a transition where the thing slides up and down, right? I mean, up and down, right? Correct? Yes. So what happens is you can't really output the height because then you'll see the layer again. So what we're going to do is just um, go in the ends of the knife around here, go to that frame. Both of these layers, hit MM so you can see all the mask properties. And hit a keyframe for the mask expansion for both of them. And then we'll go to the beginning. And then this one, we're just going to try to go up and just kind of fill in the little crack. <laughs> fill in the crack. But just uh, expand the mask until it's basically filled back in. And then it will uh, like rip open 
kind of like that. And that works just because it's slanted, it's thicker on the left. If it wasn't like that, it wouldn't really look right. But this is going to be a fast effect anyway, so you won't really be able to tell. So anyways, after a second has gone by or so, we'll select both layers and push P, keyframe those, and then deselect them and move forward, I don't know, half a second. And one of them will go down, and the other one will go up. Come on. Come on. There we go. And then the first two keyframes, we'll go ahead and uh, turn them into easy ease keyframes. And that is essentially it. Let me just uh, do a quick round preview to make sure everything looks good. But, um... Oh, forgot to turn this one back on. If you find a way, if you find a good way to get those uh, edges nice and fixed, then uh, let me know. Put them in the comments so other people can see it. But this is basically the idea. You know, make your own mask, cut it into two parts, kind of roughen it up, you know. And then uh, animate it using the expansion. And then just uh, position, have them, you know, fall away. And that's about it, so... Please like the video, guys. Uh, this was a pretty fun tutorial to figure out, and um, I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you learned some stuff. So if you like the video, I'll make some more, and I'll see you next time. Peace.